Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel here. Today's unboxing and build is the Creality Ender 3V3 SE. So as you can see, we have some pliers that come in the box, um, some filament. We also have some various screws and um, connections, um, the usual tools like the spanner, screwdriver and Allen keys. And we also have the screen. This isn't a touch screen, this is just using the uh, a standard um, twist knob. And that's the power cable. And the usual instruction manuals and stickers and uh, quality certificates. And don't forget the um, nozzle cleaner. Okay, so next out of the box is the top loading spool holder. Let's take out this. And now we have the um, stable dual Z, Z axis. So this has a timing belt. Um, it only, only has the one motor, but um, with the stable Z on both sides, um, ensures for a quality print. Next out of the box is the actual printer bed itself. Um, comes with the y-axis dual linear shaft so provides an accurate motion of the build platform so obviously provides better quality prints so let's head over to the build itself so quite a detailed um, instructions as always from creality from what i can see it shouldn't take much longer than a few minutes to start putting all this together they make this um, print so much the printer so much easier to put together and this is some of the information within the instructions itself Okay, so we have the printer laid out now and we're going to connect up the Z-axis to the main platform. You're going to need uh, the M314 screws, there's six altogether. Now, you'll notice this um, pushes in now, so it's a lot easier to actually um, put together. You may find it a lot easier to turn it on its side. And you're going to have three screws all together, tightening it up to the frame itself. So let's do the first side. then over to the second side. Okay, so now that that's complete, we need to um, use the M38 screws and they fit into the frame at the upper end. So there's two of those and just tighten them like so. Okay, so next up is the screen connection. Um, you'll see that the screen just pops in onto this holder um, so there's three all together, you need to use the M410s. So once again, turn it on its side and connect up all three. And then the screen just pops on with the two locator pins like so. But first, let's connect the screen to the printer itself and then push down and just clicks into place and then pull off the screen cover. Next up is the spool holder, which um, you'll find the two lo locating holes at the top and you will need the M58 screws. Next up is the connection of the printer cable to the head itself. Now this just push fits. And then in here you have um, the actual cable holder. So that just keeps it nice and secure and a spare nozzle. So literally it just goes over the cable and covers that and stops it from flexing and damaging. So nice and easy to connect like so. Next up is the X axis motor connection. Let's connect that up and you'll notice a connection to put the um, cable into it, just a cable tidy, push that in. Next up is the um, Z access motor connection. Once again, push it in. So you'll notice that the back, it's very difficult to see again, um, but this is your power rating, so make sure you select it correctly for your country. And this is my pay, uh, power cable and the on-off switch on the left-hand side of the printer. So it carries out the actual um, auto-leveling with CR Touch for auto-leveling and strain sensor to the left-hand front of the plate, and that's for auto-Z offset. It's easy to get the first, uh, first 
perfect layer. So as it runs through its sequence, you'll notice on the screen it has like um, stages that it goes through. So that's what it's going to do now. Um, so it's going to fast track through this, but roughly um, account for about 10 minutes to carry out the whole process of your first initial um, bed level. Now it carries out um, these auto leveling with the CR touch. Um, it also has a strain sen sensor at the front of the plate, uh, just underneath the bed itself. Um, and that just gives it the opportunity to get a perfect first layer each time. Something to um, note as well, when I first set up this, um, I noticed that the, if you lift up the build plate, um, there's four screws on the actual plate itself, the bed plate. So just make sure they're tight because I did notice that there was a bit of a wobble on the bed itself. Um, so just give that a double check. So right now it's going to go over into the um, bed level. And on you'll notice on the screen coming up, it starts to map out the um, the actual offset. Um, and it'll just give you a detailed view of um, where your levels are, as you can see. So there's the different colors um, mean different things. So there is a graph in the actual uh, paperwork. So just double check that. Okay, so that's the bed level done. Like I say, it isn't a touch screen. Um, there's lots of um, different settings that are on this screen itself. Very easy to use, especially for a new um, user to the 3D printing world. This would be a great machine. Very cost effective um, price. I think about 189 at the moment in on the Creality website. Um, so let's go over and uh, connect up the filament use the free, free uh, sample of uh, hyper PLA I believe it would be so you want to um, preheat it and uh, very simple to use off the screen um, click on the screen for extrude um, but what I want to do is raise the Z a little bit because obviously it's easier you want to unclip the latch and just push it through and then once it reaches temperature just press OK using the toggle switch and that will extrude some filament for you like so move the bed forward and just remove it let's do some prints now so um i actually didn't receive a um, memory card with this um, particular printer so i used one of my own and sliced it using a creality slicer um, now the benchy i did do it as um one wall um two bottom layers two top and about 10% infill, so the actual quality wasn't that great. And the filament that you receive isn't probably the best either, so there's a bit of stringing, but otherwise the quality is pretty impressive. That was a 25 minute print. And uh, now we're gonna do the cat that I found on the Creality site as well. Once again, pre-sliced. Now that one come out really, really well. And now a big shout out to today's video sponsor, PCBWay.com. Now they are holding a competition at the moment. So head on over to their page. As you can see, they hold electrical projects and mechanical projects. You can choose which one you want to be involved in. Some amazing prizes, as you can see from the, the website itself. And um, check it out. Um, participation is easy. Gives you the guidelines of the rules and the judges that will be involved. Um, also, PCBWay.com do PCB assemblies, they do CNC work, 3D printing, and other exciting projects that you can get involved in. So check them out today's sponsor, PCBWay.com. Okay, back to the Creality Ender 3v3SE review. Um, very easy to build, as you see. Um, so with the strain gauge at the front and the CR touch. Um, this will obviously help with the bed leveling, so there is no manual knobs anymore. The dual um, Z rods, um, only one motor, but it has the timing belt as well, so you're always going to get a, a decent um, stability print. Like I said earlier on in the video, do check the four bolts, uh, four screws on the plate underneath the flexible bed. You do want to check that because they were loose. Um, the screen, very easy to use. Once again, not touch screen. You have the, obviously, the Y-axis dual linear shaft, so provides um, stable movement. The uh, above spool holder into the dry, direct uh, sprite extruder. Um, the build volume for this is 220 by 220 
by 250 on the Z. Um, it's saying about speeds of about 250 MMS, but I was getting some decent prints at about 180. You want to use the Creality Slicer. Um, so up, make sure you use the up-to-date version. Once again, the actual UI is very easy to use. Great screen. Um, lots of different uh, settings that you can use on the uh, firmware. So you can change the acceleration, you can change the um, maximum speed, etc., and even your steps per um, movement. So obviously e-steps would be great to do without having to connect up to Pronterface. Um, such as temperature for preheat and PLA and TPU um, and you can do an auto PID but yeah I really like this screen and the use of it very easy to use um, color um, and all and the actual um, movement of the knob is you know it's very simple to use especially for a new user of the printer like I say very easy to use especially for a new 3d printer user um, comes with a 32-bit silent board and the uh, sprite extruder. Overall, very happy with this. Um, great prints and uh, looking like a great investment. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching today's video on the Creality Ender 3 V3 SE. Thank you, everyone. Take care.